had a mini crisis. <laughs> well, I've had a mini crisis. Oh, you've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Go on, admit. All right, I confess. Right, one of them everywhere. <laughs> I just moved it and it, it jumped out of the pot. Just literally five minutes five ago. Five minutes ago. Expletives. <laughs> <laughs> thought she'd been murdered or something. I've got every swear word in my vocabulary out of my system now. And the floor's quite sticky, so I've got to keep moving. Otherwise, it might stick, <laughs> it to, stick the to the floor. floor. <laughs> Which could be funny. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hi, Annette. Hi, Debbie. Gosh, oh. you girls are really on the ball. I've got your parcel all wrapped, Debbie, waiting to go today. Yeah, I can vouch for that. It's sitting there. There might be a little surprise in there for you, too. Ooh. Like surprises. Right, so while we're on surprises, last week's last week's prizes. <laughs> but Gail has followed me for a very very long time oh, always sends me lovely messages she's a lovely lovely lady with a lovely daughter they're a team act so well I'm really really happy then. about yeah. that well done Gail fantastic well done um yeah you better message me just pm me for his sake your address and then I'll, I'll where you want it to go and I'll get it off to you and I'll get Claire to get the uh, salt wash off to you well done what we're giving away this week what we're giving away well, this week you know you remember last week I was in a right mood because the chalk paint hadn't arrived and it was due to arrive and then it arrived and then we had the live and I was running between the live in the evening and my shed where we were working on getting it all displayed my bed and sorted and chaos, it's arrived, it's in, it's amazing. So it's fairly chic stuff. I would love to post out some paint to you guys but obviously a lot of you as followers are abroad and I really don't know how it would cope with shipping. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. I haven't quite got that far yet. I want to feel really confident with shipping within the UK. So if someone in the UK won, I would happily ship you some paint. But because I can't guarantee Sorry. that, because it's not fixed. It's not fixed. No, God it's no. It genuinely is going in. So we have to have stuff that's postable. So, fairy chic, upside down, chalk paint brush, and fairy chic gold metallic -y wax which I'm going to be using today on my project so I thought that was appropriate so that's in the drawer all you got to do is share it share this shared. to your Facebook page and write shared in the comments that's it we have a very funny comment here from Heike she said hi ladies on the highway hubby driving me watching till we get to the border then she's going to catch up with us tonight up <laughs> but thank you for making the effort <laughs> It's fantastic. Here we get the coolest stories on here. People that are setting their alarms and getting up at the crack of dawn. And yes. I would just never do that. Um, people over in the States particularly, people are setting their alarms so that they can get up. It's people madness. are tuning in it's with their morning it's coffee. Um, it, madness, it's lovely. This reminds me of last night. My daughter so has been saying every day, because she goes to school, she goes to grammar school, and, she, and it's quite a long way from where we live. And so she's got to get up really early and she says every day to my hubby, not me obviously because she knows, to him, are you going to give me a lift to school? And almost every day he says, no, I've got to go work in the opposite direction or whatever. But very occasionally he's got a job in her direction so he says I'll drop her off. So, which means she keeps asking. So she asked last night, are you going to take me to school? Because it gives her an extra half hour in bed. Ah. And he said, as I'm sitting there with my mouth open, yeah, at least it will get me up. And I said, you, what? You'll never hear those words leave my mouth. Never. No. <laughs> at least that would get me up. <laughs> not unless it was a three o'clock start or something, but not a seven o'clock start. Seven. So, yeah, he got up, walked up this morning. So, yeah. Fantastic. Life is good. And I actually got, for the first time in a very long time, the opportunity to get dressed without a dog jumping around me. You know, I just felt really chilled by the time I came to work today. It was like, brilliant. Anyway, love that. That's why she's so bubbly. Yeah. All right, um, back to business. What are you doing? Well, you guys, like, we had a play, play day yesterday, me and Amanda. We, we, had, a, we had a fun we day. We had a really good fun day. And I'm just gonna try and show you some close-ups of this. It's got all sorts going on. It's got some molding. This picture in the middle is an image transfer. 
and there's some iod stamps going on there and there's some crackle and going on there beautiful I and mean, i really wanted to show you what you can do with my paints this week because i worked very hard when i was coming up with the range on coming up with colors that not only worked really well in their own right uh, for beginners that just want a plain color piece or not even beginners anyone who just wants mm. a plain color but also for people that want to do more creative stuff with layers and they colors that go colors work beautifully so, together you can really build up a palette of colors um that work got, so yeah, well together so i found this picture i'm going to tell you a little bit about these ladies in a bit these are called the dolly sisters and i really like it and i think you can probably see there's some cocoa colors in there there's some kind of linen -y there's, colors there's, there's a lovely some, some yellow but there's, some, there. there's a pink in there mm. a dusky pink in there as well and i wanted to use all of those colors for my uh -huh. i'm a bit dangerous you are a bit dangerous <laughs> with those today so look at these colors together Let's see particularly on the bottom yeah there. Can you see that they're, they're all gonna just go great? And I think I've actually got another linen one as well. These ones haven't got stickers on, but the same, can you see all the colours are just all gonna work really well together and that's what's happened on this piece. So that's what I'm going to do, is show you how I create that Look piece. at these jars though, these jars. They're cute, aren't they? They're wide necked and if you get the bigger sizes, you get a free sticker. <laughs> Everyone Thank you, Annette. Oh, everyone's everyone loving them. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, hi. I haven't seen you for ages. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, where are you up to? Well, I have it? prepped. All this is is a bit of plywood, like such. This is the same. I've made some moulds using a IOD mould with resin and stuck them in place. And I've painted my background with my white chalk paint and I, I've done one coat everywhere and two coats just in this section where I'm going to be doing my image transfer. Yeah, because you need that to be white. I need that to be solid white. Yeah. So before I start, that's needle. <laughs> before I start, come on, this is brilliant. Right. This is, I've never seen this done before, it's brilliant. I have been given this fabulous A board um, very kindly and I want to make a sign for myself. So what I've done is I've marked off the area that I want to use uh, because I want to keep some of this original background because you might not be able to see it very well there but it's very chippy. Lots of old, old paint chipping off and you know I like my chippy. Um, now what I wanted to do, I wanted to do some raised stencils. So cool. And you may have come across raised stencils before in so much that... You've got your stencil, you've got your texture paste, there's many brands of these, this is just one I particularly use because I can get it locally, um, and you apply that, uh, I know Paula tends to use a credit card, I use a knife, and you just apply it over the top and once it comes off, you take your stencil away, you've got the, a raised texture stencil. Okay. So I wanted to do that, now the problem with that comes that you have doing letters particularly you can only do one at a time because you've got to let that dry there aren't any names called a b c d no there aren't <laughs> not generally <laughs> unless you wanted the solid alphabet um so yeah i'd have to do the m and then i'd have to wait for that to dry then i'd have to go back in and do the a and it would take forever yeah. so a good trick to get around that is to do it first onto uh, a piece of tissue paper. You can use the back of a napkin, that works fine. Um, this is just tissue paper that we have in Paula's shop here to wrap. Um, and I find it easier just to take off, take it into squares, apply your raised stencil here, and then you can just let that dry and you can just get on with the next one then, okay? Once they're all dry, because I did these yesterday, once they're all dry, you can just cut out around your shape um, and then and glue it into place. 
As long as they're glued quite firmly, you're PVA. all right. PVA glue, yeah. yeah. It doesn't even matter if it sticks up a little bit because you're going to be painting over it. You're going to be painting it, over so it and it's a, it's a raised it's stencil. It's brilliant. I've never seen it done before. And can you imagine if you had a really complicated stencil Ooh. that you wanted to work round edges or over drawers and, you know, you could do exactly that and then and smooth then it the round rather than use the really stiff stencil and try and, and, try and manoeuvre it. Fart arse around yeah. it. Because that doesn't work. It's my technical term today. That that fart arse. That, well, that <laughs> technique does not work. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the way it ran. We'd love to see you, Michelle, come down. What was, was that picture from the graphic? No, it wasn't. I am a member of the Image Transfer Thanks, Hank. Um, group on Facebook, which is really cool. They've got, they've got some good videos on there on image transfer. And it was the their port, their main image, and I really liked it, and I researched it, and I found it, and it is on Google, but I have put a picture of it in the paint forum. Under yeah, Georgia, that's things, another way. So you'll be able to download it and use it yourself. I'll put it in as an actual file tonight, okay? So you'll be able to get that if you want to use it. These two interesting ladies yeah they are they're they're from from the 1920s they are called they're called the dolly sisters um they're identical twins and they came to the us and had a bit of a riotous life really they really liked the high life they really liked lots of money they did lots of gambling mm -hmm. lots and lots of gambling and they had quite a lot of associations with quite a lot of famous they like wealthy men. Wealthy men, yeah, and they use that to their full advantage. Yes. And so they were they were kind of on fully what's the word? The folly beige. Yes. Dancing girls. They didn't really have an awful lot of talent, but they did lots of dancing. And, and the fact that they were identical twins. You and know. they kind of were famous for Very almost famous. dressing up rather than dressing down. They you know, they didn't they weren't all scanty. No. They no. were posh and they the they one of them gambled the money, so they? much money that she spent all of her winnings on jewellery and at one point it was noticed that she had jewellery all the way up to her elbow <laughs> and every piece was worth millions and then a, every hand was adorned but in the so end they lost it, it all one one killed herself one tried to kill herself it was all a bit disastrous yes that's right what yeah debbie said um mr selfridge that's it yes mr yeah, selfridge that's, that's, yeah. that's it he funded a lot of their gambling mm. yeah but I really love the picture. I really like this era. I like the music. I like. I just like. It's just as cool, and I really like the colours. So I've printed this off on my inkjet printer weeks ago. But as long as you do it the night before, it should be fine. Uh, lots of debate on this whole image transfer. Yeah. And for me, image transfer works on my inkjet printer. I've got a Kodak, and it works. Some people have said don't work at all. Mm. If it doesn't work at all, your only option is to. Go and get a laser print at the printer. Yeah, your only option. I'm just lucky. My printer was about thirty pounds. I got it second hand, so no, that's not much it, at all. No, it? and it's got the cheapest ink ever, which is why we bought it. I, I've got so to it's kind of worth the investment broken. for thirty quid mm. to be able to do image transfer from home and print off whatever you want whenever you want. I think it's probably worth it. So what I'm doing is tearing round because I don't want the white edge. My image. Now, you'll have to remind me of these colours because I'm yet to get used to these marvellous furry names. But what colours <laughs> this are one's I... Dima. Dima? Yeah, Dima. It's like a slaty grey blue. And this one is Miraja, who's the queen of the sea. And she's my favourite furry picture, actually. Slightly more turquoisey. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm using both of these colours. Um, I'm going to be blending them together because um, I just think they work beautifully. What I'm trying to do is, um, if anyone's been over to my page and they've seen the header banner, it's a piece of old, um, it's part of an old door and it's the most lovely, grunged back, peeling blue paint. And I'm just trying to sort of replicate that on here. So using both the colours, I've then also put on a layer of uh, crackle, it's furry sheet crackle. Have we got some over there? Yeah, so we're geared up for crackle as well. Um, so I put some crackle on as well, and I'm going to go in now with my second layer of paints, and that crackle will start to come through. So, so you've got your image. I've ready. got my second bottle of matte finish of the day. <laughs> it's a good job. Don't I'm, drop. Good it. job. It's my own product. I can just chuck it around now. Right, not ideal. <laughs> this is what I use for image transfer. 
going to put this to one side so hopefully you can see. Now, I, I have little rules in life. I don't know why, but I do. So this is my image transfer rule. I do a rule of three. So I use quite a big brush and I sop up wet the image first. So I'm, the idea in my head, logically, is that I'm trying to loosen up the ink on the picture that's been dried for quite a while now. So I'm getting it really quite wet. Then, number two, I go into my solid white bit and again make it really wet. This dries clear, so it doesn't matter anyway, but I make it, I want it wet. The bigger the piece, the harder it is, because finishing this matte finish, it, it dries quickly, so you've got to work quickly. Now, third, I go back, because this paper is already soaking up some of the matte finish. So I go back in, right, so that's it, three. So now, while it's still all absolutely dripping wet, I place it where I want it, on my picture. So there we go. Now in an ideal world, you then leave this, you get your smooth it all out, and you leave it overnight to dry before you do anything else with it. But I've got other stuff to get on with, so I am going to leave it to dry for a bit. But you don't put finishing cream on the top, that would be disastrous. Oh gosh, yes. I have had people do that. Uh, well, uh, in workshops, I've and done I, it myself. And I've had to shout at them. <laughs> I have done it myself. <laughs> Move away! <laughs> right, lid on. No, lid on, on. No more on the blooming floor. Look, can I do a tacky dance? No, no actually, I think it's, it's not too bad. Most of it's come cleaned up. it up quite good. I'm, I wasn't put on this earth to clean, but I've done a damn fine job. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just washing out my paintbrush. Right, so. My next really fun bit is to get some of this texture on, this colour. Now what I do, can you see it? if I put it down, I think you'll be able to see just enough. I'm going to prop it up, because if I have too much gravity on my side it will get a bit messy. That should be fine. So, I use the colours that I've chosen, like so. So I've got my pot and I literally, I'm just going to pour little dabs, sometimes bigger dabs, in different places on my canvas. I'm going to call this my canvas, like that. And then I'm going to go in with another colour, like this one, it's a little bit thinner in consistency so you've got to be careful. And if necessary, I can just use a brush. This is like one of those, it's not going to come, and then it's all going to come. So I'm just going to use a brush for now. You see? So there's no rhyme or reason. So now this is a technique that I'd never used before, so I was quite um, excited to see you using it yesterday. Yeah, that good, didn't it? Now this is how I used to start all my mixed media paintings. Now, to create the background and everyone sort of mixed media was I mean but I do lots of work with mixed media I mean what I did last week with all of the um, cogs stuck on everything that was mixed media that's a form of mixed media so mixed media is just using different mediums to together I think it layering and it sounds more technical than it and it is, is yeah it is just about playing which is just my thing. So, can I just mention with the crackle, um, and this applies to any crackle paste you use, when you go in with your uh, top coat, so you've put on your first coat, you've put on your crackle, all of that is dry, when you come in with your, um, your top coat, which I've just done, you need to apply it quite thickly and you don't want to overwork it, okay? It needs to sit there and then it needs to dry and it needs to let the crackle come through. So don't don't start sort of overplaying it, don't start messing it about. You really want to just let it sit. Um, already the crackle is coming through and it's looking good. Yeah, I use a hairdryer to speed that up yes. while I do it. And I apply crackle 
uh, the top coat with sponge so Do that you? I don't overwork it because it gives a different effect with a brush to a sponge and we'll, we'll be able to show you both because if you've used a brush yeah I'm going to be using a sponge so we'll see now I would dry this off with a hairdryer but it's going to get very noisy so I'm just going to let that sit and dry for a little bit um Paul has got lots going on to, to keep you I'm at entertained. I'm stage now, I'll so try I've got my the... famous card. This, this is the bit that really intrigued me yesterday. So I've literally got blobs everywhere, and now I'm not really trying to be very careful with it. I am just spreading it around. Up hi Louise, edge. hi Jennifer. So it's just moving all those colours into yeah. each other. In different directions. And I've got, I've got too much paint and I'll have to scrape some of the excess off, which is fine because I'll be able to use the excess later. Hence my block. This is the fun bit. I'm just going to do a quick close up of the one you did yesterday yeah. so that people can see how that effect really starts to work and see how those colours are all sort of blended. Um, kind of almost mashed into each other they just merge into each other because so i've got crackle to come on top so some of the areas will be crackled but this is just the first stage it gives me an idea of if the colors are working or not yeah louise finally here <laughs> um yeah do you know what i'm gonna do hike i'm gonna take the camera off and bring it closer to paula because mine has to dry and hers is a really interesting technique, okay? We don't normally mess around with the camera, but I think today, um, as long as I don't touch anything, I'm not supposed to touch. <laughs> See, the camera is set. Oops. So, it's a bit fiddly, bear with me. Okay, right. Also, I can't see what you can see because I'm behind the camera. So hopefully, Paula, can you have a quick look at the camera angle? Yep. Yeah, are we getting what in, we want? Going a bit more. So now I'm actually scraping back and scraping off. So you've even got some of the white underneath. Can you see? And I'm just using this bit of spare. I love it. I love this pink as well. Look at it. That pink is working so well with those browns. Who would have thought? Well, you would have. That's why you chose it. <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about what palettes I wanted. It's very selfish having your own palette. <laughs> I don't care what you want, it's what I want. <laughs> but I'm hoping that when you see what I want, you'll want it too. Look at that. That's looking nice. It is. I really like the bits as well where you've pulled everything back and it's sort of exposing. Yeah, the, it's scraped. And the texture it's giving is lovely. So I even like the lines because it kind of looks like an old posterish that's been scrumpled up. Right, you know. right so I'm going to just, obviously I can't use the scraping tool for my moulds. So I'll have to use a brush for that, but that's the general gist. And I've got a lot of loose paint here, but I am going to be using it. It's not going to be wasted. So if we can just see what you're doing over on the moulds. So I'm just, I want a whole mix of colours. I'm going to be using, once I've finished, the last stage is this lovely little gold wax that you've got up for grabs this week, just to highlight, but I use it through the whole picture. It gives you really nice ageing. Now I was watching Paula replying that yesterday and I, I love working with waxes and these coloured waxes are just yeah, to die for. Yeah, it just, it really it just, aged it, it well, aged didn't it? it? Yeah. yeah, it was great. So I'm just trying to use some of the excess paint that I've got. No point in wasting it. Okay. I'm going to put the camera back up now because yeah. I really want to see who's on and what comments and questions we've got going on. Bear with me, everybody, while I get you back up there. Hopefully, I've got us. Um, yeah, it does look amazing, doesn't it? Not me, sorry. <laughs> I think I've got us back to where we should be. Okie doke. Can you hear my hubby talking next door? Because I can. And he's oh, on he's strict gonna, instructions. He's going to get told off. Yeah, he's on strict <laughs> instructions. He don't know how loud he is. Right. 
Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to have a quick blast with the hairdryer. Yeah. Okay, just, just to get a, this paint drying off. It will be noisy. If could you hate do, it, could do a just let us know. Fire. Hmm? Could do a little dance. Could do a little, yeah, Paula can entertain you with a little dance. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you. Me? No, you don't want to see me dance. Okay. I won't have it on the highest setting. I think that would really go in. mess but the colours are just really coming out and can you see that the image is you can almost see that it's starting to come through it's seeping through the paper so it needs drying off but I think it's gonna look really cool when I get it when I get the image off again I've got a drying problem because I've got to dry it really so that looks so cool Go for it. Go for it. Really bad. I think we're going to need some entertainment in for next week. <laughs> oh, steady on. <laughs> right. Um, still a bit tacky, but it's a lot drier than it was. Right. And I'm going to use your hot gun because this will be really quick. And it's not quite as noisy. Not quite as noisy, no. You'll still hear it, unfortunately, but it's not quite as bad. Let's see who we've got. Who wants to go? There we go. Hi, Debbie Roberts. Oh, hi, Debbie. I haven't seen you for a while. Debbie's a local. Oh, Debbie's a local. Debbie's got a picture at Molly's Den. Oh, right. Okay. Do you know, I haven't been down there for ages, Debbie. I'll have to pop down there. Molly's Den is where we started off. We follow each other around, us Molly's Den crowd. <laughs> Molly's <laughs> Den in the UK is like this sort of antique, uh, I guess you'd call it warehouse, really, where you yeah. rent out a, a space. So in America, you call it a booth, I suppose. Yes. Uh, yeah, you rent out a space right. and you can put in it what you like. And some of them look like they you literally walk past them and just chuck some entire contents of your bin into it. <laughs> yeah. They do. Yeah, they do walk straight past them. And yet, some people spend hours rummaging in those kinds of things. They went to stop them seeing us. Right. Temporarily went off, someone's trying to win me. Right. I'm going to be really pretty dry. I'm going to go back over now with my stencil um, because I want to get right. the name in white. Which we're done with noise. I need to organise myself with. So, this is the fun bit. This is where you get the... Now, as I said, if you haven't done it before, I really would recommend leaving it overnight. But, you know, I'm not really named for my patients. Really? <laughs> Funny thing. It might go to ask for you wrong and I might have to sort of recreate for next week, but let's have it, let's have a go. So all I've got is water and I just put my fingers into the water and rub. Now I'm gonna put this upright so hopefully you get a chance of seeing it. And it sort of creates the yeah, what well, I don't know what you call those little rolls of paper that actually seem to help gather. A bit like when you're trying to peel blue tack off a wall. If you use existing blue tack, it sort of rolls up easier. Now you can definitely be, do this harder if you've got um, a laser print. You can, now I'm just, I've just that little bit there has rubbed off a bit of the paper, so I'm stopping rubbing over that bit. So I'm taking a bit of your white. Yep. Thank you. Wasn't prepared. 
and I've got a bubble here so I'm not sure that's going to come out there. What I did on the last picture that I've shown you is I've, I'm fully expecting to go back in and having to paint some of it in. That's fully part of, if you expect it to come out perfect, you are going to be disappointed. Just don't. Yeah, but it's, the I'd imperfections like, make it, yeah. make it, yeah. And sometimes the imperfections can just be left. And sometimes the imperfections have to be painted back in because they're just the crucial bit, the face or something. You, know, you don't want to wipe off the whole face, do you? But I'm sure you can start to see. I'll show you close up. Now, there's a bit just there that hasn't, that's rubbed away. So I may or may not have to touch that up, but it is definitely starting to reveal. And I'm obviously not going to go back over that bit. I'm going to be careful around that bit. So I'm going to keep going. See, the bigger the picture, the longer it takes. I am having to adjust this slightly as I go because where I've cut out the um, the letters, or should I say lovely Liz cut out the letters, um, <laughs> where I've then stuck them on, they have moved slightly from the original um, setting, so therefore I'm having to move the, the stencil accordingly. Oh, oh, the dolly girls have come up. Oh, the dollies! There they are. They're dollying. They've arrived. I think I need a bit more. Work I just love it. this faded old look as well. I right? do. And the pink in it. Looks it. old it's and just. After it's very hard. We were having this chat, me and Amanda, earlier about because the picture that I did yesterday, I love it, and it took me most of my working day playing on it, and it's really hard to then know how to price such a thing because people just don't want to pay for hours and hours of labour and I'm half considering just taking it home and having it yes because when you've worked well, you could so donate long, it to me <laughs> I could donate it to you <laughs> it would be super you kind paying. of want someone to have it that would really appreciate it don't you yes. not, not just sort of want to pay 20, 30 quid for it and I, that's how I feel about it okay so well, you can see the M's come up pretty, pretty well. I need to see what you're doing. Well, this is going to be a bit of just a lot of faffing about um, by me, as usual. How are you going to seal that? Because that's got to go outdoors. Um, how am I going to seal it? Good question. Um, I will use a finishing coat over the top. I'm thinking. As well as my waxes. Like, like yacht varnish or something to make it really weatherproof. I have got something like that. But I would love somebody's advice on this because I I, I did my um, sign outside on with outdoor clear varnish, that's what it said. And it's not clear, it's yellow, it's bright flipping yellow. And I had a beautiful Lots white design that looks now like I've smoked a hundred cigarettes over it. It's really a drippy as well, it's all gone nasty i want a clear outdoor strong protective varnish so, so if anyone knows any recommendations one in the UK, please tell me oh the other thing i was going to ask on this slide because somebody asked yesterday it'd be really great if you could write a great big list perhaps even while we're on what time it is where you are now yes please what and, and where you are whether you're east north west us you know where you're watching it from what time it is if you are live and watching this as we're playing it because everybody wants to know what time 1 p.m is all, all over, over the place. place all over the place <laughs> so if you could, clue. I, I don't know it's 1 p.m here when we start so if you can tell us what 1 p.m is where you are that would be really great for next week i could put up a table this is going to take me forever so i'm actually going to go in i think and paint with a paintbrush rather than just having to keep moving things around. Do you want um, I've got I've got a good paintbrush. You've got a good paintbrush. 
Oh, that looks like a good paint brush, thank you. Yeah, that'll do nicely. It's quite a nice paint brush. Oh, look at my girls. They're looking sassy. They are sassy. That's look a good word. I like sassy. I'd like to be sassy. You are still sassy. <laughs> What would I have to do to achieve sassy? Um, <laughs> don't know. Do I have to wear a frock? No. I can't do that. No. I don't wear frocks. You can be a frock free sassy. <laughs> do you know, I've even got it. it I refuse to Your call boots it a frock. I've got something that's sassy. Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a dress that's. It's not a dress. I tell everyone it's a long top. <laughs> and then I wear leggings. Because <laughs> it's not a dress, it's a long top. Okay? Very long. I've never got one of dresses. I like a dress. Do you? Yeah. No. Don't like my legs. Oh, you see, I've, like, I've got good legs. <laughs> Shame about the rest of me, but I've got well, good everyone, legs. Well, I think you need to shout for a bit of proof there. <laughs> so she's got good legs. I have got good legs. <laughs> and I know it. Looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got customers Not bad, looking are they? now for the legs. <laughs> Auntie Liz is giving me her best Auntie Liz look. <laughs> I'm getting carried away and tearing some splotches off. But yeah, don't rush it. That's the thing, isn't it? And know when to stop because you're never mm. going to get all of the back off at all. It will still look a bit faded. So once I've got most of it off, I use the matte finish and it pops the colour back out. Yeah, it does. And you'd be really surprised. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. And um, if I was to just leave that now, it would gradually dry because it's still quite wet. It would gradually dry and gradually look more and more faded. Oh, we're getting some times in. There's, there's loads. I've missed oh, lots great, of them. Great. But Thank um, you so much. For example, Nashville. 7.35 in the morning. Oh my goodness. Why are you out Why of bed? Why you? Go back to bed. <laughs> Go back to bed. We're on later. For goodness Oh, Fiona sent us a, world, um, a, a link to World Clock. Oh, thank you. I, I, somebody said that you might know Fiona, and I tried to tag you in on the post last night, but it didn't happen anyway. But thank you. We'll use that. I need to, it's something I need to do. It's something that you and me, Fiona, could share because um, Fiona does lots of live videos as well that everyone's joining in on and they're great too so I'm sure it'd be a useful tool for both of us. Now Fiona's been doing, um, I'm not sure if you saw it, um, some slide decal. My god, nightmare. No, you told me and I nightmare. was going to try and catch up with it yesterday. Yeah, nightmare. Not, not Fiona's, just the, the slide decals in general. The people that do them on videos on YouTube, the ones that I've seen, make it look like it's unwrapping a sweet or something, that easy. <laughs> and it, it isn't, because I put about five, I mean they're quite expensive as well, you buy like ten in a pack or something. So six later, in the bin, project really? thrown across the table, yeah, what no, I either nice. got the right temper tantrum about the whole thing. <laughs> and I Andrea had to come in and rescue me. I would have lost the plot. Because <laughs> I, I printed off some lovely um, Alice in Wonderland images and I had some um, plain white plates and jugs and things and I was going to do these slide day cows on them because you can bake them and then you can actually use them, put them in dishwashers, everything. They're great. Oh. They look amazing when they work with big emphasis on the when. And I, I came to the conclusion they really weren't worth how stressed it, it was making me feel. <laughs> If you had to throw X no. amount away. No, I know, and then you have to go and order more. That's what Fiona ended up having to do. She had to order more in to finish the project that she'd started. Well, that's no good, is it? No good at all. No good. But it did look good, what, what she finished with. But I'll catch up with those, so, Fiona. Yeah, but it, I think... Good I morning from Maryland. What time is it there? <laughs> I think, actually... What I really like about us British videos is that we're prepared to show when it all goes wrong. Yes. And that it is a learning and curve and then how we solve it, because I, I never know if it's going to go right. <laughs> Quite often it turns out completely <laughs> different, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it is all part of the learning, Fiona, and good for you for having a go and showing us and showing us what can go wrong, because then we're prepared and not paranoid when it happens to us. 
so my image is nearly off. That was quick. Yeah. I'm not too worried about these edges because I'm going to paint over them anyway. Well, this is much better with the, um, the paintbrush, thank you. Right. So I am. I'm going to just show you close up this cloudiness that I'm going to stop with because it is cloudy, and there is still grains of paper on it. But I am going to stop and put the finishing stuff on. Just to finishing stuff. Finishing matte finish. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> right. Here we are. Look. So, can you see that? It's still a bit cloudy, but look at that. At least the face has come out, and that's the big, the good, good bit of it all. So, I'm now going to put the matte finish on, and then you will see, hopefully, how much stronger that image looks. Lid back off. Warning. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who only just joined us, I managed to explode a whole bottle of this all over my workshop just before we started. And you should have heard the language. <laughs> was not ladylike, Paula. No. <laughs> At all. I was <laughs> practising my expletives. It's good for one's health. Yeah, certainly let it all out. <laughs> I did check the shop was clear first. Did you really? Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you did. Lid back on. Okay. Right. So, can you see? Does it look clearer now? Now, you can see there are some areas that I've got holes in where I've just rubbed a bit too hard. But that's okay because once it's all dried, the finish that I've just put on, I'm going to go back in with a paintbrush and do some magic stuff. So while that's drying and happening, I'm going to be giving all of the outside that I've painted and dried and smeared around a layer of the crackle. And we might be almost there for time after that. Can somebody give us the time? Liz, got time? I've got time. Nearly quarter to Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a good layer of the crackle. Now, Crackle is, for want of a better word, a crackly thing. It's difficult. Lots of people write in and say it all went wrong, nothing happened, it didn't work. I think doing crackle with a brush the first time is risky because you are too tempted to go back and forth. It's, it's a natural instinct. However yeah. much you tell yourself you're only going once, you want to go back and perfect it. So I would say if if you're starting out, that looks great, Amanda. Thank That's you. really great. If you're starting out, try Crackle My Way. And Crackle is quite runny, but gloopy. And my rule of thumb with applying this Crackle is to put on as if you were like, putting on gloss. So quite thick. Not to the point of it like literally running down there if it was horizontal, upright but thick, if you put it on too thin, it won't crackle. So it's quite shiny. You can't really put on too much other than you don't want it to be dripping. So be generous with it, don't be stingy with it. On that note about dripping, it is much easier to use it um, on a flat surface like Paul is doing. Yeah. I did mine on this um, and you, you do have to be aware of drips. If you find a drip, just kind of knock it off with Pot your out, your, yeah. your fingertips. So really quite generous. There's no you don't some some crackles claim that you have to do it in one direction and then put the paint on in another direction. I never followed that rule. No, neither have I. This is you just put this on any Slap other direction. It on. Okay, so don't Slap it on and don't be afraid of it. It's going to work as long as you're generous with it. And it is more about the top coat. Yeah. But we're going to show you that. I've done quite a few videos on YouTube of this in close-up of actually applying crackle. Yeah, you should, you should catch those. Um, they are so really... 
they're much shorter to watch, so you don't have to sit around for hours. My short videos are in my favourite catchphrases. I don't know. I keep going, see you in a bit, see you in a bit. I don't know how that happens. But well, you've got the funky music to keep you entertained as yes, well. Yes, and then I the fast forward bits. So they are worth a watch too, just to get sort of close up and fast recap, especially if you're going to have a go. You don't want to have to necessarily watch a whole hour all over again. No, they're brilliant. I mean, I, I learnt a lot of the more decorative techniques from, from those videos. You know, it's one thing being able to paint, but, um, you know, trying the, the different decorative techniques um, and is brilliant. It's, it's, you yeah. can indeed see my disasters as well. We have yes, a lot of fun. I was back in my uh, old shop days, mostly. I've done quite a few here, I suppose, but mostly I started them at the old shop with Andrea. And, uh, yeah, we had a quite a lot of fun. Um, right, so I have poured that on. It's going to take some drying. And yet, so the next trick with Crackle Glaze is to make sure it's absolutely bone dry before you do anything else. And it, it won't look dry because it's shiny. So you have to touch it tentatively. And it shouldn't be tacky, it should be dry. So I could do that with a hairdryer, but that's just, we're not, we're not going to do that here today. So I'm going to wait for it to properly dry. So today we've covered, obviously, my scraping background affair and the image transfer, and you've seen that come off. And now we're preparing for the crackle and all the texture behind. And then I'm going to be coming in with, where have I put them? Where have I put them? My oh, stamps. Here. Yeah. Oh, you're on them. I'm on them. Sorry. <laughs> What are they doing in my way? Yeah, so this is one of the new IOD letter stamps and this is one of the old IOD letter stamps which unfortunately is no longer available. But, um, well, hopefully it will come back out again. Wink, wink, IOD, if you're listening. And I'm, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put a date on it. I'm going to use the letters randomly. And I, I think I decided, I thought long and hard with this should I try and come up with a phrase I think it says uh, birdie darling here and I thought should I put birdie darling and I thought it would probably look a bit naff so I've used the same letters D A R and then there's an L and an E and then I've got B and an I there so it kind of ties in with the letters that you can already see which you probably wouldn't work out even to look but I think it makes it look right um, and I've done them in random different colours depending on where I was putting them so that they would show up because obviously cream wouldn't have showed up there. So that's worked quite well. The crackle is amazing on this. Can you see that corner? Now some of that is the natural crackle where I put the sponge on and some of it is where I've used a bit of paper and twisted and pulled some of it back off while it's still wet. So you get different texture and effects doing that too. And then here, can you see we've got the gold that's up for grabs? But I've also used the gold all in around the image and into the cracks. And it's made it look all oldie worldy. Really cool, really like it. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on next week to finish off my bit of the project. And what have you got? Right, um, well I've got to a point, uh, a lot of this is still quite wet, mm. quite tacky. Um, so it's hard to sort of go over it too much but what I will do is just go over the lettering once more because it's a bit patchy when this is all dried off I want to get in there and scrape a bit of this back yeah. like you've seen me do on other pieces because I really like this it is look really nice. where it's 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 coming off you know so I want that old look so some of this get it scraped back um, then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to use uh, a dry white brush. So I'm going to do some dry brushing. I'll oh, show you how to do that. Yeah, we will show you how to do that. And that'll just give it sort of yeah. a slightly more woody effect as well. Because I want these colours to sort of start blending in together. So that's going to In happen. an ideal world, we'd have the plank wood stamp to use, wouldn't we? Well, I'm glad you mentioned that <laughs> because... When it comes in, which um, hopefully yeah. the oh, beginning, of beginning of October, guys, that's the last I've heard from the French distributor. So we, we have ordered a zillions. Well, that's what I'm waiting on because yeah. I want to go in and using those stamps. I don't know whether any of you have seen them online, but they are fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, I want this to look like planks. To create fake wood. So that, that 
bit is going to have to wait. But when it's done, we can always get pictures over to you. Yeah. yeah. And I think I hope you have a go at this amazing technique because I'm going to have a go at this. I've never done it before, and I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it works. I love it that it's, we come together and you teach me something. Every I know, week. It's and you just teach so me. It's so cool. It's so cool. Right, <laughs> well, guys, we come to the end of another lovely week. Don't forget to ask me tips. Freebies, freebies. Share the love. Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Share the love. <laughs> We'll have a queue outside the door. We will. <laughs> Lovely to see you. We will be on the watch party on the paint forum at seven o'clock tonight. You can yes. ask us any questions, and we Do will join come us back there. to you with the questions that you've asked today. Yeah, because there's a lot we've missed. Oh, one question just before we go. Someone asked me on the YouTube channel, "Where did you get that fantastic jumper you were wearing last week? The psychotic one." Oh, the psychotic artist. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll try and find out where it's from yeah, because I, I got it it popped up on Facebook and I thought uh, that's one me. of those guys. Um, yeah it must have been after a couple of glasses of wine and I thought yeah that's me got that ordered it is somewhere over in the States when I do that I get a size 10 <laughs> and then I, won't, I won't tell you what size I ordered and I'm like cha -cha. <laughs> you better have it. I used to be a skinny girl and I keep I in my head I'm yeah. still a skinny girl yeah. not a fat Never mind. bird um, <laughs> All right, I'll, well, try, I'll try and find out for you. Yeah, and we'll put it on there. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining Cheers. us, guys. Bye. Mine's empty. Oh.